This right here is the world's most powerful eGPU. It's the Razer Core-X Chroma Edition. It's got magical lights and four USB ports, as well as gigabit ethernet connection. And the most best part about this is it has a brand new 700 watt power supply, which means not only can it power the world's most powerful graphics card for Max, it can power me too. Oh, I love it so much. Can I touch it? Yeah. Mm. Oh, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> now, design-wise, this guy, just like the last Razer Core-X, it looks and feels beautiful, very easy to slip in, slip out. However, it now has these magical LED lights, the strip at the front. Of course, you can unplug the port if you don't like that stuff. It's got a big, solid fan over here. Of course, you can unplug it as well if you don't like the noise. So if you're manic like me and you don't like fan noise, you can just unplug the fan. That's the connector pin right there and just pull out the fan. And this one's for the lights and it plugs in just underneath inside this port over there. Now, even though it has a more powerful power supply than the last edition, it still sounds about the same. So that's pretty good. They haven't made it noisier. Woo! This power supply is now revision 1917 and supports up to 700 watts of power. And I'm also going to unplug the actual fan to see how noisy the PSU is. And even though it has four extra ports and a gigabit ethernet, it doesn't actually slow down the performance of even the Radeon 7. That's right, I tested out the Radeon 7 in Final Cut Pro, in gaming, in all these applications. I didn't notice any slowdowns when I was hammering it just gonna see how Windows handles this SSD drive. So I'm getting 500 megabytes a second, 250 megabytes a second, 1000 megabytes a second. And in the meantime, I'm gonna run Geekbench, compute test and see how the performance is affected. And we're getting over 200,000 again, and that's with the SSD in constant use. In this package, you get a half meter Thunderbolt 3 cable. However, I did test it again with a two meter Thunderbolt 3 cable and it worked just as fast. So if you don't like the noise, you can put it further away from your desk and it runs completely fine. Now, the great thing about this fella is it supports all sorts of graphics cards. My last EGP unit, I had to pretty much saw it off to fit in the Vega 64 and the Radeon 7. However, this one slots in kind of nicely. So I love that. And if you're wondering which graphics card to use, I've used it both with a, a Vega 64 and a Radeon 7. And Geekbench scores aside, Geekbench, is, it's, not, it's not that conclusive a test because sometimes the Vega 64 actually outperformed the Radeon 7 in Geekbench. Yeah, that's right. And on Windows, Geekbench is just super insanely fast. But if you look into the details, what you'll notice is the Vega 64 has 64 compute units, which means it has more shaders. It has more processors, kind of like an 8-core versus a 6-core. But the Radeon 7, it goes a lot faster and it's got much improved memory bandwidth. So in basic tests, for example, if you're playing games, it will be faster, you'll get more frames a second, but it won't be that big of a difference. For stuff like video editing, you won't notice much of a difference unless you really push it. For example, if you do a standard red project with just red files on the screen or A7 III footage on the screen, you won't notice any difference in export times. You will, however, notice difference in performance when you overload the graphics card. For example, my Vega 64, it could only support eight film grain effects running at the same time. And this is twice as good, twice as good as the Vega 20 that you get in the MacBook Pro 2019. However, this Radeon 7, it could support double that, 16 film grain effects with no slowdowns. Can you believe that? All right, I'm here now with the Radeon 7 eGPU powered by the Razer Core-X Chroma with the beautiful lights. I'm gonna hit it with eight film grains. Handles it like a champ, no problem. Now, let's double it, let's double it, let's go crazy. 16 film grains, can it handle it? Let's go. This is the test. What the actual, what the actual. The Radeon 7 is two times faster than the Vega 64 in Final Cut Pro X when doing advanced rendering effects. Two times faster. Amazing. Now, let me talk about the downsides. Mac OS drivers are still a bit 
you know, to be continued. This is a USB 3.1 SSD, about 500 megabytes a second transfer speeds. I'm gonna plug it in to the eGPU enclosure into one of the USB-A ports. So it does manage to pick up one of the drives. Yeah, I'm able to jump into that drive. Let's do speed test. Oh no, I think I've lost my system. All right, so it looks like, unfortunately, when you try plugging in one of these super fast SSDs into the eGPU enclosure, your computer goes a bit mental at the moment. Mac OS drivers, why are you so crap? Yep, computer's gone. All right, we're back and I have my camera plugged in, so I'm gonna turn that on instead. All right, so we got some action happening over here. Let's see how it affects the performance of our GPU. Because I've always heard, if you have an eGPU enclosure with lots of ports and you use the ports, it will slow down the bandwidth available for the GPU to use. Can we still get 16 film grains? Let's run the speed test. Speed test is running right there. So with speed test running, it was still able to get 16 film grains. <sighs> All right, you know, you can still use it to charge out your ports, connects, it connects to the camera, that's a good connection. While it did work connecting my USB to my camera in macOS, when I tried connecting it to my USB SSD drives, it didn't, didn't quite work. I think uh, that guy was encrypted and he had some issues there. On Windows, it worked completely fine, but on macOS, there were some issues and even in the latest Catalina beta, that, just don't agree to that one, that one's a bit itty bitty. Final Cut didn't even work in that one. And in case you're wondering if you should install the latest, latest update to Catalina, don't. This is what the timeline now looks like in Final Cut Pro. Uh, don't know what's happened. It's meant to be bigger. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on, but in the latest Catalina, I actually got an improvement in the performance. So it went from 145,000 to... That's us in the latest version of Catalina. And as you can see, our score is now 155,000. And yes, that's right, it did work in Windows Boot Camp. For me, I had a Vega 64 drivers on my Windows. I had to uninstall that before it recognized it. So I recommend if you are trying to use this in Boot Camp, first, restart into Boot Camp first, plug in the Razer Core X, get it to install all of its drivers, and then restart fresh with the eGPU plugged in. Of course, Windows support isn't officially supported, in bootcamp, that's what Apple officially say, but it did work for me. Your mileage may vary and it may change this anytime. All right, it says we're setting up video controller VGA compatible. And VGA controller is ready to go. So I'm in device manager right now. And device manager, it doesn't have the display adapter. I'm just gonna check. AMD's website for drivers. Hmm, no drivers were installed. Let's try device manager again. Update drivers. Browse my computer, desktop. Nice one. I'm gonna have to hold down and restart the computer because there's nothing to see here. So it does detect my RX Vega, but it doesn't detect my Radeon 7. Maybe it's because I got RX Vega drivers installed. Delete drivers off different device. The bootcamp experience. <laughs> Mac really doesn't want you to run Windows. I got a good feeling about this one. I have a feeling that it's now installed the drivers. Yep, there you go, it's on the screen. Boom shakalaka, that was it. Device manager, look at that. Radeon 7, my friends, we are scoring. Unfortunately, I've lost my MacBook Pro screen. And we're getting over 200,000 again. All right, this is the Division 2. So we're getting about 50, 54 frames a second. This bit's around 42 frames a second. Oh, who's shooting at me? All right, so that was around between 40 to 50 frames a second. Everything is completely on ultra maximum settings. Getting 60 frames a second. Graphics, it's pretty much everything is on. It's beautiful, 60 frames a second, look at that. 
and with these units it's pretty much the only way to get bootcamp support unofficially because if you try using the official mac products the black magic egpu pro which will cost double and um, it's not even as fast that guy isn't supported in windows whatsoever that will just ruin your mac just don't, don't do that don't do that i tried it before don't do it unfortunately on the 13 inch macbook pro i couldn't get it working in windows bootcamp on windows i just get this beautiful blue screen of death so right that's it i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions leave a comment below and i'll go more in depth there stay tuned for my radeon 7 review coming very soon but for now let me know which egpu are you shimming are you gonna upgrade to this razor core x chroma edition Yeah, it's oh my god, it's amazing. Is it noisy? Not at all. It's not even, no I can't even hear it. I mean, there's a really gentle hum. But it's, it's like very, very low. I couldn't even see that they're spinning. The only reason I can tell that they're spinning is because the silver bit is vibrating, the circular bit. Oh, I really like, I really like it. Why does it have an R on it? Radion. Wow. No, it says Radion right there. Wow, it's not like right and left. No. It's gorgeous. And this is this is the really nice. uh, the lights are actually part of the eGPU enclosure. Really? Yeah. So it's not actually part of the hard drive. The graphics card is this, but this is wow. the actual the box that comes with it. Where's the actual ca like case for it? It's just over here. Oh, it's huge. Crazy Corex. Babe, I love yeah. it. I'm gonna have to keep it. I don't even know what it does. Also, you get with this one. Yeah. You get ports on the back here. Oh, that's really handy. So like, I'm charging my microphone. Oh, that's so handy. The other one didn't have that. That's really handy. It's got ports that you can charge up things and connect things up to. It looks like a um, a desktop computer. Mm. It's pretty cool. You look oh my cool. gosh! Congratulations, babe. I feel like sitting here because the lights are so pretty. I might just sit here. Do you know what time it is? What time is it? Video game time! Woo! <laughs> I can't wait. Let's play. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god! Should we play Wolfenstein? Metal Gear Solid. <laughs>